Why chill out Qigong? To not focus on breathing. This has to do with the way we activate the qi. In the level one or method one, lift up and pour qi down method. We're using the mind inducing qi. Wherever the mind goes, the qi follow. In the second method, the body and mind method, Xing Shen Zhang, and we're using the body movement to induce qi. So wherever our body moves, we activate the meridians. In the method number three, five elements method, or Wu Yan Zhang, we're using the body movement to activate the inner inner organ meridians, and then we use sound to activate the organ chi. All this method is focused on either the mind, the body, or the sound. We are not focused on the breathing. So for the very beginners, we have so many things have to focus on. And if you focus on breathing, the chi had no where to go. They had no idea what to do because she's talking about just the breathing. So in the literature and poor chi down method, when we go out to the blue sky, the chi will go out to the blue sky. When we pull back to the body, the chi will back to the body. That become we call exchange chi, exchange chi with nature. If you focus on the breathing, and then you are not exchanging qi at all. Now, that does not mean in the jilao, uh, in the jilao qigong, we do not focus on breathing. It's up to what kind of level or call stage or practice you are. In a more advanced, advanced stage, we do incorporate breathing into the practice, but we do not practice breathing with the form. We practice breathing by itself. So we would spend a few minutes or what, of what uh, amount of time you are able to spend to practice on breathing alone. For example, we practice the breathing, when we push out, we exhale. When we pull back in to the body, we inhale. So you keep on doing it, keep on doing it, until you have the body memories, or we call it the muscle memories. So when you, each time you push out, you will automatically exhale. When each time you pulling back in, you automatic inhale. So end up, you have the muscle memory, and then when you practice the lift chop and pull chi down method, and then the breathing will automatically incorporate into your practice. Of course, breathing, and then you get into a little bit deeper, is see, you're going to, what kind of breathing you're going to have, and you're going to have the chest breathing, abdominal breathing, a natural breathing, or, or reverse breathing is all is more let's say uh, by the breathing by itself so you have to practice it on the side not with the form and after that you put it together become one core whole form 